All right, guys. <clears throat> we got a question from Thiago. It says, "Please do, please do a tutorial on how to add X unit in the mounted state. How to make a footman mounted. Oh wait, thumbs up. I don't know. I accidentally clicked that. That doesn't matter. All right, sure. Well, thumbs up. All right. How to make a footman? And I've like never thumbs up anything. That's pretty funny. Uh, mounted Malfurion stag. Right. Okay. Stag knight. We got this. We're gonna put a footman on a stag. Stag knight. All right. Let's do it. We won't be stagnant. We're gonna have stag knight." That's right. Let's do it. I'm so used to hitting Control U for the unit, but you don't need to do that. Just double-click the footman, right? And then we'll get um, we'll get Furion, and we'll do footman on Furion stack. So let's do that. Boom. Okay, there's actually a bug with this. Uh, we need to we need to select that. That keeps it. So now I can double-click the footman, and things will be okay. Um. Yeah, cool. All right. Uh, there's also a problem with the Malfurion stag model in particular that um, when we're in, when we're looking at him, I think it's like stand ready. Yeah, you notice this. If I duplicate stand ready, it has two spaces between it. Okay, this is because there's glitch characters in stand ready of Malfurion. I don't know why, but I'm just going to rename this stand ready where I retype it on my own and delete the old one so that we don't have these glitch characters. That's really silly, uh, but it's, it's something about this particular model. I've run into this over many years. So, okay, that's model specific. Now we're gonna get to the more general case. How do I put the footman on the Malfurion stag? Let's do it. So in order to make that happen, we just go to Malfurion and uh, let's see, we get some nodes. And so he's got these, he's no, these nodes, right? And these handle how he animates. So, for starters, what we could probably do is just throw the footman on these same nodes on the same guy. Um, and that's where you kind of have a choice, right? Do you want footman animations, or do you want to just use this guy's animations with a footman character on it? Uh, maybe I'll do it either way, but I, for starters, I think I'm going to use this guy's animations and just put a footman character on it. So let's go ahead and start with that. Um, should be pretty simple. Uh, basically, we just import from workspace, and you just choose the footman, because I already have him open. Then I should be able to get in sort of the... Uh, you know, down in the, the meat of making this happen. Uh, we don't want the footman's dead body, most likely. Uh, we'll probably just keep Hero Dissipate on this guy for now. Uh, I have another video tutorial where you can change, like, a Dissipate. I've got tutorials bone go <clears throat> going both ways, right? When we can make a uh, unit have a Dissipate and be a hero, when we can make a hero have a Decay and be a unit. It's up to you. Uh, but as far as that, so I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to skip out on the footman animations. And what we're going to do is we're just going to go to the footman nodes, and we're just going to line it up with Furion. And this should be pretty simple. Uh, as long as we keep similar names, right? So like leg 2L, we're gonna get leg 2L Furion, and we'll just try to line these up. Sorry, that's the uh, that's the footman. Uh, yeah, leg 2L right here, the Furion. That's why we got the little label here, right? This one says Furion, this one says footman. Sorry, I was just talking while I was trying to do this. All right, yeah. So leg 2L. You'll notice also, uh, Furion doesn't have a foot node uh, in particular. Uh, if you were to actually click on the tips of his feet here, you would see that these are actually just leg to left and leg to right. Um, so for that, you can sort of simplify the footman data, just stick it all on leg to L, right? A lot of these are really straightforward, like head. It's great if head is just head. Uh, this is like bone chest from Furion, right? And then chest arm one. L. So as I'm doing this, to kind of give you the, the description on the plan here, uh, by selecting the similar choices and lining these up, what I'm doing is I'm rewriting for the footman, for the portions that are read here, uh, what those are linked to, and so they're, therefore what animations they'll use. So as I'm doing this model com blending, where I'm putting the footman into Furion, uh, we're going to, as a part of that action, just stick the entire footman on a Furion's animation set. Uh, so we'll just keep at it here. It looks like this is leg 1L, leg 1R, and also chest. Here you go. It's chest arm 1R. Leg 1L, leg 2L. We just line them up, right? Leg 2R. Here you go. Leg 1 and 2R. Like 2R and foot R, and again, we don't have a foot corresponding in Furion, but we can just skip it. Uh, just make sure it's stuck on something, right? And it's got on just like 2. Now, arm 2L and hand R. 
Notably, hand R on the footman is misnamed. It's his left hand. So we we know that, and we're gonna we're gonna stick this on left arm and left hand on Fury. Just make sure we do that right. And we'll do that uh, with this one. Arm one L, arm two L, and uh, pelvis and chest. So that would be um, chest and. Pelvis. Does he have a pelvis? Well, chest is attached to root, and the legs are attached to the root. So we're going to use root instead of pelvis to be uh, Malfurion's root, because we don't seem to have a pelvis for Malfurion. All right, which means we'll do the same thing here. Pel pelvis leg one L. So it's really unfortunate that the names are different enough between these that I wasn't able to automate it when I designed this, right? And that's that's a clear issue in how this is built. Um, but currently, it just is an issue. It just is how it's done that um, I don't really know a way to automate these when the footman's linked to things that are linked to the nodes of the right name and Furion just uses nodes of the right name. Um, difficult to automate that. It might be possible if I were to rewrite the way that some of these interfaces work, but it's not how they currently work. Right? Alright, we have the arms there, arm 1R, leg 1L, leg 1, this is, oh, leg 1L and then leg 1R, there we go. Which actually points out that, I think there was an 1114, or 1124 before, wasn't there? There was something else that had. Yeah, this had 11:24, and I technically put them in the wrong order. It was just bugging me. All right, 11:24, uh, and then this one foot right. Now you remember this foot right is just going to go on leg two right because in this case, Furion's a simpler design, so his leg two right needs that. All right, leg one right. We can keep the same though. Pelvis. We'll again just use the root. Hand right, remember, this is really confusing. The footman's hand right is actually the hand left of everybody else. It's just a typo when the guy was building it. Um, there's Archdruid weapon, it looks like. Uh, it's probably still the weapon. So here's something else you could do if you want to be really precise. Mm, I don't know if I'm going to be... So, the footman's sword has these little balls on it that, that are camera centric let's uh let's pull that up here uh if i go to window and i open the footman right on his sword there are these balls that always face the camera when we do a transfer because i wasn't transferring animation nodes over or my plan wasn't to do so these balls would always face forward instead of always facing the camera because the camera facing motion uh would be forgotten we can fix that uh, but we have to be really careful to do so. So if we want to fix that as we're doing the transfer, uh, the system does understand what to do. So this is box six, right? This one up here is box three. And then this guy here is actually box seven. So box six, three, and seven, if we leave those here... Uh, I, see, I was about to stick it on Furion's weapon. If we don't do that and we leave it fused to the footman's nodes, box three, six, and seven. Uh, long, as long as we remember to come back and deal with this a little bit later too, we should be able to link these to uh, the Archdruid object following his left hand. And it's my understanding that that should give us what we're looking for there. So basically, um, that'll mean, although I wonder, Let's go back to the Archdruid. Is it the case that that particular bone is actually some of these? This is what I'm wondering. All of this stuff. If we look at all of this stuff. Is this a weapon or is this... Like, are these camera facing or are these not camera facing? Eh, it's kind of hard to tell. Kind of looks like my uh, my previewer here is actually probably not correct to the game. Uh, let's see, Night Elf. Here's Furion. It's 
make a new map so we could put a Furion down on the ground. Furion. Boom. Alright. Here's a Furion. So, uh, if you look at his weapon... Oh, it is true. Okay, so it's got, like, flat stuff on it, right? And this flat stuff that's trying to make it look like a glow... I think means it'll be okay for us to do the fuse onto where I set it. So we click each of these and you'll see that I've linked it to Object 16 Arch Druid. We'll see if we regret that. I don't think we will, but uh, I don't want to jinx it. So basically all I'm doing here is I'm specifying that this blob, Object 16 Arch Druid, which presumably should just be the one, like, even if we just select part of his staff, this thing, right? Let's see what that's attached to. That's really what I wanted to know here. Yeah, Object 16 Arch Druid. So I'm going to tell the game that on that staff, we're going to bring in three additional nodes for the three portions of the Footman's Sword that are going to be camera facing. So his sword still looks good once he's imported. So that's why these things here, we're going to leave them as they were. The rest of them, um, I've left in the Footman entries while I added Malfurion entries. But I did that under the assumption that I'm going to delete those entries automatically by taking them out on this other tab. Uh, so what that means is that we'll arrive at a result where all the nodes on the footman just link up to Malfurion, except for those camera-centric ones, which will bring in as an additional element to the node structure uh, so that they will continue to be camera-centric per ball on the footman sword. So we're, we're doing this combination, and the software should totally handle this, uh, so that should totally work. We just have to make sure we do everything right. Uh, so let's continue. We have two more entries here to fill in. Uh, the arm one left, which would just be arm one left here on Malfurion. And the foot left, which, as we recall, would be leg two left because Malfurion is a simple... He's got simple legs and doesn't have a foot. So that's really good and that's the hard part, but we still have uh, a couple more footman geosets to do. Uh, this one is the one that has the team color, and after that is actually the spare axe handle in the canteen, which notably we probably don't need. So actually we'll get rid of those, we'll make our job even easier, and we'll just do footman 2 here. So let's do that. Uh, this is arm 2 right, so let me just go and let me just go and get that, arm 2 right right here. Great, so we have that, now we got to link uh, footman chest and arm 2 right. And this is arm one. Wait, I said two right, and I click on one. Hold on a second. No, there's two. Okay, arm two, arm two. That's good. Uh, chest arm one, chest arm one. That's good. And arm one, arm one. All right. So now we have uh, leg two left as the foot. We're going to stick on there. Leg two left again. And then leg two right. We'll stick that one on also. Leg two right. Again, we don't need to fill in for the foot because there's not a corresponding entry on Malfurion. Uh, arm one left. Just clicked on the right one. Here we go. Arm one left, and a combination of chest and arm one left. Right there. And this guy lets you control click like that, so you can do two at a time. So you can just do an easy transfer over. Uh, so at this point, we've got all of the footman nodes now, where their their set of links includes links onto the Furion node structure. So the last key is I didn't remove those footman nodes up here. Now you could do that and like click remove or something, uh, but realistically, to just save time and do this the easy way, what we're going to do is select all of these footman nodes, except for box 3, 7, and 2, those little balls that we want to keep, and we'll set everything else to do not import mode. So that's just going to discard the footman's animation skeleton. So now that's gone out of our import sequence, and we're just going to have the footman linked to the uh, animation structure of Furion. Now that I've done that, uh, we can make our decisions about visibility and little nodes and stuff. If you wanted to, you could try to bring in the footman's death sound instead of the Furion death sound. I don't think I'm going to do that right now because I'm mostly just focused on the visual aspect. Uh, but that's sort of what that menu can do. And then invisibility here, this part's I guess another important part. Uh, you can set when the footman should be visible relative to Malfurion. For example, when Malfurion's dissipating, if he ever disappears. Uh, you could have the footman do that also. Notably here, he doesn't do... You know, the other Malfurion model, the, the one that's dismounted, is incredibly complicated because he was trying to be like a Jedi where he disappears and just his cloak falls on the ground. I don't think this one actually does that. We might find that the visibility... Yeah, the visibility on his initial geosets is very, very simple and just always visible. So we can actually leave that in. Uh, the footman animations are not imported, so the footman imported visibility here won't matter. 
So I think we're good to go. Let's click finish and let's see where we're at. This is not a good warning. This is a really not good warning. This is not supposed to be the case. Interesting. We'll have to do some research to figure out exactly uh, what that was referring to. It means I did something wrong, essentially. Uh, I'm a little bit curious. Okay, so it's not in the team color. It's in the other one, right? Okay. Is it over here? Is it over here? Yeah, it's over here. Is it something to do with these that we transferred over that were supposed to work? Maybe they didn't transfer. Yeah, one of them didn't transfer. I'm not sure why. Okay, we got seven and three. Let's see, which one's the one that didn't transfer? This guy. Okay, that guy didn't transfer. Well, we can fix that. Um, so to do that, all you got to do, if you look at the Arch Druid and you look at um, his chest, you can find arm one, R and L. And this should bring us to where we can say in his left hand is the weapon, an object 16 Arch Druid. And as a sub node, we have box 7 and box 3 from the footman. Somehow I've missed box 6 or whatever that other box was. Not really sure why that happened. Um, but because we missed that one, you can actually go to the footman here. Uh, toggle. I was doing note. We'll just, do, we'll just do helpers. There we go. Basically, we can see this node here. We'll just copy that. We'll go back to, uh, to the Mount Furion merged version. And we'll just do a control V right here and sort of paste uh, to do a fix on what was missed. Now, so long as I uh, select all of these at one time and do a control W, which is the same as a tools rig, it'll link them all together. Then if I do an auto center on this node, it'll put it right back where it should have been. Uh, so we do that. That'll fix this guy. And that should mean now if I select the whole thing and do view matrices, uh, you'll see that nothing here is linked to the matrix eater dummy that was inserted because of the mistake that I made. So we can go now to this matrix eater dummy down here. We can just delete that guy. He's gone delete key on my, on my uh, keyboard. So now we fixed that, uh, but you also want to set the parent of this to object 16 arch druid, right? Which is just that weapon thing. It'll be uh, listed right after bone arm uh, or bone hand L should be. Uh, bone hand L. There we go. Object 16 arch druid right there. Uh, so that again, the weapon of the footman will be linked where we want it to be. So now that we have that actually with box 16 there, let's turn on the other two, box 7 and box 3, and select the footman. And so this is our next portion we got to do here, is get the whole footman, and now you want to align him to the druid. So now that he's selected, uh, we want to align him to this guy, because the animation nodes that are in use are going to come from this guy. So we want to try to have him align as much as possible, and in a moment you'll see why that's important. Uh, it's just helpful for, uh, you know, sort of the animation nodes and that those various things. It almost looks like we might benefit from making him a little bigger if we really want him to line up. So let's, let's give that a try. Uh, the other thing that can be really good to do is save your work in case you get any, uh, you know, you make a mistake that somehow has some issue where you can't control Z it or something. Uh, so yeah, let's just go to models folder here and we'll save this as the footman stag rider. Sure, footman stag rider. So. Now we've got him there, we're making some good progress. Uh, just for my curiosity, now that I have a backup, what I'm actually going to do is, uh, you can see that the stag is its own geoset. So as long as we have that toggled off, and then we toggle on the guy, we ought to be able to delete the guy without deleting the stag, right? So let's try that, that's the footman there. So yeah, let's try deleting the guy. And this, mostly I'm curious when I do that, what is this going to look like? How bad is this going to look, you know? I don't exactly know. Here you go. So here's the footman. Uh, you can tell the nodes are a little off, having just transferred them on the back there. Um, but he's definitely more or less riding and looking okay. So now is the part where we want to kind of tweak the footman to really fit the nodes, right? Because he's not using his own rig. He's using the rig of the other guy, basically. So you got to make sure he has the right notes. So we'll select him so we can drag him around. And we're going to try to see. Can we see what we can see? Can we see the notes? And can we make him fit the notes? Uh, did I make him too big? Did I make him too small? Let's see what we got as far as that. Eh, it still doesn't really look quite right. Maybe make him a little bigger? Hmm.
sure is a little hard to tell. It's like, should he be stouter? So I can make him look better? I mean, it's starting to look kind of okay, right? You think about, like, you know, here's the footman. He's got some stuff like that. Um, It looks worse up close, right? I think from a distance, this one's pretty convincing. Uh, let's see if we do, like, walk. How is he? Yeah. There's some oddity to that head there, considering. How does Furion do that with his head? Let's, let's, uh, let's open another Mount Furion here. How is it that when he's walking, his head... Yeah, his head is just kind of... Just kind of doing its own thing. That's interesting. What an interesting thing. So here's, uh, here's the footman mounted one again. So we're using the same rig, but it's a little bit questionable. That's interesting. That's really interesting. Yeah, so here you go. Uh, here's one way to do this. So, we'll save this again as Footman Stag Rider 2. Just this is the one that has, like, only the Footman on it. Let's give that a shot in the World Editor. Let's just see how it looks. I'm kind of curious. You know, is there anything I'm going to notice in the game that I wouldn't notice in uh, the viewer there? Footman Stag Rider. We'll save this map. Footman Stag Rider map. Put it in the maps folder. Great. Okay, map is still just another Warcraft 3 map. We'll kick it off, and you know what? I forgot. I forgot to actually use the model. So, let's do that. Um, Malfurion, we'll copy him. We'll make one that looks like this Footman guy, and we'll see. How does he look? I really think he looks bad in this previewer, and then when I place him, he doesn't really look that bad on the ground, right? Um. We'll run him around a little bit. We'll see what we can see. Has... Now, he doesn't have a portrait yet. He could probably just use, like, you know, the Furion portrait or something. So, there's definitely a little bit of discontinuity. I don't really like where that head is going. I feel like his head needs to be better. It shall be done. Um, that's interesting. Let's do, let's fix the head, okay? I, I The head is really bothering me. Um, in order to do that... Just go into like this group select mode and just click the head and then assign it. So I assigned it specifically to be on his head. Let's do a combination of the head and also the chest, the sum of the motion of both. That'll hopefully make him look a little bit better. Yeah, it's still something. I think it's maybe better. Actually, I'm not totally convinced that it's better. I'm not sure. How do they do this? What is his head linked to? His head is linked to his chest. It must just really be counteracting the animation. It must be deliberate. Okay, I guess I'll link it back on the head. So... Hmm. Wait, now there it is again. That got worse. That got a lot worse. Hold on a second. How did it get worse? Oh, A and B on his head. What is A and B? Now I'm curious. That's pretty hard to tell. There's something interesting going on with how this thing works. Well, it isn't that one. Alright. I really don't understand how this thing got so out of whack. What is Bonehead? Is up there. So I guess that's part of the problem, right? If we turn off the nodes... The footman... Although he is supposed to be... Like that, he's supposed to be leaned back more, maybe. How 
how did his head get so out of whack? Let's reopen it from disk. Right? Let's do that. Uh, put him in Stag Rider too. See, this one's not as bad. I don't know why. Something changed when I did that reassignment. Or is it the same? No, something's really different about head here versus... What is this attached to? Box 2 and the head. What's box 2? Oh, that's the problem. I didn't delete this box 2 guy. Which is causing this to be less broken looking than it is. That's pretty weird. Well, what if I just reassign, or not reassign, what if we like link this box 2 that we conveniently have that I think was a mistake on my part to like bone chest or something? How does that work? No, that's not so good. Alright, well, we got his head on there. It mostly looks good. It just doesn't look good in that particular case. There's just death. Okay, his head looks really bad in the death. Yeah, we're deleting this glitch block. Alright, now he looks better, but like, still not great. So, we fixed that a little bit. But not a lot. And the next thing to do is just make this footman uh, a little bit taller, I guess. I'm going to try to get the, this. Here are the bones of Furion. So I guess Furion has this thing that he's it's a bit more like that. Or maybe he needs to be how he was, but with shorter feet. We kind of do that. And the way Furion had this was like his feet just kind of end in a little point that you don't really see. Because nobody really notices, and nobody's really going to look down there. Nobody cares, right? So, you do that. That's pretty good. Uh, that actually, that's starting to look a lot better. Except his head. Something about that head is crazy. Um, but it's, it's better, I think. I think it's better. There, there you have it. So this is kind of how you could, like, tweak this. Try to make it how you like, you know. Um... And you could get to where you have this guy that, you know, he's a footman on a stag, right? There you go. So he's looking pretty good. This one, the maybe improved version, you know, you do some tweaking. You create that. Let's save that and let's put that in here. Uh, footman Stag Rider 3. Should be pretty good. Stag Rider 3. Save that guy and we'll load him up. His head's a little crazier, but it's because we got rid of the issue during Dissipate, so he probably looks good in Dissipate. Or at least better, right? He's still stretching a bit. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not sure about this one. It's not as good as it should be. Let's just. Let's be crazy. Let's go on these nodes here. And let's do the auto center function. He might be crazy now, but I'm a little curious what happens. Like in walk. No, huh, I don't know if I like that. He changed with the auto centering. And he's different, but I'm not really sure that it's good. I was hoping we'd arrive at less distortion with his little body there. So you can kind of make something like that. Um. That's a that's a good step. So let's let's do part two. Okay, part two. What if I wanted to do this a different way? What if I wanted to load load another Malfurion, and say I want to just delete Malfurion completely off the back of this, and we'll just have footman animations, mounted footman animations. And this is a totally different approach that gets you a, a or tends to get you a really similar result, right? So if I select this guy, in fact, we could even do it by GeoSet, right? We'll just get Fury and Geo set, and maybe the glow on his weapon here. Most of that stuff. I mean, you just select all that and you just push delete. We're like, all right, now we just have a model of this thing. And 
Now, let's say Furion's gone. How am I going to just stick a footman on this thing, right? What if I want to do that? Let's do that too. This would be a different process. It's a different way to do it. Um, and it's faster. So here's the footman. And I'm going to say, all right, we'll just get rid of everything except the main footman and his team color. And then we're going to take all these animations. And we can just say uh, time scale all of them, right? So then we have like stand one on stand one. You know, the two attacks can link together. Uh, we probably won't do defend animations. Although you could if you were being really serious about it. Um, probably decay could go and dissipate. Seems reasonable. Uh, stand ready. It looks like we don't have a stand ready, so you can just stick stand on that. Uh, spell could maybe be stand victory. So we just do all this automated linking, right? And then what that's going to do is that's going to make it so we can go to like the footman's, probably the footman's pelvis, and say that instead of attaching to the root over here, uh, we'll just stick that on uh, the root of the arch druid. Or well, let's say we don't have the arch druid. We're really thinking the the bone horse, right? Like the horse of the arch druid. So that's what we gotta find here, right? The the bone horse. So we do that. So now we have this footman, and he's just gonna stick right on the horse, right? No arch druid at all. And once we do that, we also need to nuke the legs. So we're gonna we're gonna go to the legs of the footman. Uh, if you hold shift, it'll get all of them. We'll get rid of that. So then all we gotta do is we gotta find the footman. Uh, things that are empty, right? It's a much faster process of just kind of scanning through and saying uh, which leg contents are actually empty. Well, the answer is that none of them are uh, because up here some of these meshes were attached to the legs and the meshes are sticking around. So like two, three foot, like two, three foot. So actually if we get rid of these, we'll see those empty entries, right? Okay. Go through here. There we go. There's an empty. So whenever you see an empty entry, just stick it on a horse, right? And entry on the horse, entry on the horse, and everything else we leave the same. And so basically this is going to root the footman's legs on the horse, and it's going to make the footman's legs not move. So that we'll see uh, more or less what we want to see. And then we're going to do the second or the same thing on the second part of the footman. So this is leg, this is leg, this is leg. And we're just sticking any, any leg things now that I've deleted the node structure for the animations of the footman's legs. We're just sticking anything that's missing animation on the horse. So the footman's legs are going to move with the horse. Uh, and this is uh, this is another approach, right? Because then we get this footman here. It looks about the same. It starts about the same now that we're, uh, you know, trying to align them. But it's different because in the uh, root of the horse, I apparently didn't get some of the footman stuff imported. So this is a part where actually uh, we can reopen the import dialog uh, with this edit delete model. Oh, you can't do that apparently. Why can't we do that? Stag Rider 4. Really? Animation 311. What on earth? Okay, he's got some kind of bad animation. Oh, yeah. This is stand ready, like I mentioned before. We can't... My code can't process the glitch characters. It's stand ready on this guy. Okay. There we go. Now it's fixed. All right. So as I was saying, you can reopen the import dialog. Sorry. And you can uncheck unused. And this will get rid of some stuff. And really, my question for myself was, does this get rid of bone chest of a footman? Which I hoped that it would. But it doesn't. It appears that the chest of the footman and the pelvis that's stuck on the horse are not both stuck on the horse. I was thinking that I would stick down on the horse. Because now if I uncheck unused, now the root of the footman is gone. And the pelvis should probably also be gone. Alright, so we'll get rid of the pelvis of the footman. Which gives us the question then, uh, is there anything else here going on in the footman that is linked to the pelvis previously? Well, the pelvis... I mean, it must be something, right? What would that be? 
What of the footman was previously stuck to his pelvis? There we go. Object four. Object four and box four. So we're going to get rid of those. And this will get just like we saw before. Now it's one combined model, right? Because I finished the uh, import. But uh, we should be able to just stick anything that's blank again on Bone Horse. And I'll just sort of auto fix our, uh, fix our issues that we saw. Should get things good. So you could do this faster than I did it by doing it right, you know. All right, great. So I'm gonna click finish on that one. And then uh, the next key, of course, is that we just turn on the footman. And where I was trying to go with that, right, is you wanna turn on the footman's chest and all of his stuff, right? And you get all those, cause those need to move together and they're gonna move onto the horse. So now I'm moving the node structure of the footman with him. And this is gonna be a really different looking model than what we saw before, because the footman is now gonna animate with his own node structures so you're gonna see him doing like footman attacks and stuff right so like stand two and his legs kind of look bad so we can fix that right uh, just turn off everything just go to the mesh and just edit the legs as a mesh here right uh, you can basically just yeah just kind of like try to fix that out so it looks more like he's riding and not like he's in an idle standing pose there we go. So we do that, and we kind of link those out, right? And now we got, and they got a little bit more like he's riding. So he's got his legs there. Looks like I missed part. All right, let's put him back. Let's put him back. We missed part. Seems that I didn't toggle this one on. Isn't good. All right, we'll just do this leg first. So what we were doing was good, but I, I didn't have it all toggled on at the same time. So do that that can widen it up a bit there you go now now he looks a bit more like he's riding um and and if you look at his animations right like walk he's kind of trying to do the footman walk so maybe you wouldn't want him to do that uh you can you can make you can stop that from happening by doing a stand on that one right uh, but he's got stand two of the footman and so his attacks are going to be the footman's attacks right and so this is a fundamentally different creation um like here we go yeah again he's got uh, footman attack there and so he's he's different than what we saw yeah spell animation is like the footman stand victory right uh, dissipate looks like it doesn't even work right I'm actually really curious what portion of the footman that is it's like something on his back isn't correctly rooted okay that that left leg what is that linked to? Bone horse and mesh 11. I guess mesh 11 is just its own little thing. So, uh, yeah, we could just bring this dialogue back up again and just get rid of mesh 11. And we'll see that reflected over here. We're going to find the one that's empty. Mesh 11 and stick it on the horse. Okay. And now that'll fix his death animation, right? So this this weird or like dissipate, the the weird thing that was like stuck down there is gone. So yeah, generally uh, now you can see that we have this alternative footman on a, on a horse, and you could save either of these, right? Uh, footman stag rider six, and they're both going to be interesting. They're both going to be different, um, and they're two different approaches, right? How do you want to stick a footman on Stag Rider? Do you want him to animate like Furion, or do you want to animate him like a footman? And once you do that, we can even, maybe we'll copy the knight. You know, that seems more fitting, right? Make two different knights, one with each model. Two and six there. Yeah, so having done that, we can stick in our two guys. We can go in game and check them out. They both have their upsides and downsides. Um, but there are two, two separate approaches, two different ways of solving this problem, and you can see that they get you two very different looking units. Um, this one being a guy who actually does footman animations on the back of a goat and, and a stag, and this is one who actually does Furian animations on the back of a stag. And so the Furian one, you know, he's got like this Furian glows on his tack. And the, the footman one, he's just doing a chop, just like a footman, you know? Both of his animations are just kind of a footman chop. Whereas this guy, you know, he's on the animations, 
of Fury, and you can see his his sword gets really long because it's you know worked that well. So a lot of times the one where he's on Fury and like that can come out better in my experience. Um, but I guess it's also uncommon. I guess it's, you know sometimes you get the weird glitches like the head. Some people do it the other way where they just you know, they just put basically the footman animating as a footman directly on there. And these are these are the two different approaches. Um, so I hope they work out for you. Uh, feel free to you know leave more comments, ask more questions, and I hope yeah I hope uh, works for you. I hope you can make some good stuff. Yes.